Can Aljamain Sterling successfully defend his bantamweight title against TJ Dillashaw? See who fighters are picking in the latest edition of MMA Pro's Pick. I recently rewatched Corey versus TJ. Um, and TJ impressed me a lot, you know, coming back from his layoff from cheating. And uh, Aljo really impressed me against his rematch against Peter. It's a good fight. I'm excited. You can't count Aljo out. I think. TJ might have an advantage for whatever reason. I don't know. Um, but I'm, I'm excited for that fight. I definitely would like to watch that front row and, and, and see what they're all about. But those dudes are, you know, the top, top dogs. So it's going to be a good fight. Yeah, that's a tough one, too. Honestly, I feel like Sterling would do pretty well against TJ. I, uh, Sterling's just in a good place in his career. I think that he's, like, really solidified how he can beat people um and like the way that he needs to do it and he's definitely proven that he can do it against like some of the best guys you know like he beat me by just grabbing me taking my back he beat Jan by grabbing him and taking his back you know and uh I think that if he can do that against some of the best guys in the division I think that honestly he'll be able to do that against TJ also uh honestly man Aljo I think he got a lot of respect after he beat Peter Jan in that last fight I thought he won that fight um you know I'm, I'm rooting for Aljo on that one plus TJ I mean you know, once he got once he got popped, it's hard to it's hard to like anyone after that. But, but I gotta go for Aljo. You know, he's proven to be a decent champ. So see how he does. Man, that's that's gonna be a tough one. I think I think it, like I said, it depends. We have, I haven't seen TJ really fight. I think what has he fought like once or twice since his suspension. Yeah, so it's gonna be hard to say. I mean, I think I think I I think as a person, I like Aljo Sterling better. So I'm gonna go with him. Like uh, TJ Killershaw. I would root for Aljo in that fight. I would I would want Aljo to win. Um, stylistically though, I think TJ poses a lot of problems for Aljo. You know, the way he can switch stances, um, how good his wrestling is, how good his take on defense is. Uh, TJ is not a guy, I think a lot of people underestimate how good TJ is as a grappler. I mean, I've trained with him, he's elite on the ground. Um, I mean, so is Aljo, but I don't know, TJ is too competitive, I really think TJ I think TJ beats him, and I, I really hope that doesn't happen because I don't even think TJ belongs in the UFC. I mean, after all this drug use, fuck that guy. I got the champ, Aljo. Let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna go Aljo, man. Uh, I, I'm gonna pick Aljo for that one. He looked really, really good against Peter down last time. He's a little bit longer than Dillashaw. Um, you know, Dillashaw is a great, great athlete, a really good fighter, but. I think Aljo will be like, if he can get a hold of Peter Jan and take him down and avoid his striking, I think he'll be able to do the same thing to Dillashaw. Tough one again. I, 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 I'm not, I'm hardly a fan of TJ, to be honest, because because of all the shit that's happened. Um, and, and I think Aljo is a lot better than what he gets credit for. Um, obviously, the, the striking goes to TJ. And, uh, you know, TJ can wrestle as well. But I just think Aljo is so good at what he does. If he, if he can put him, and he's a lot bigger than TJ. Like, you know, TJ's not a massive guy at the weight, and Aljo is, I think. I think Aljo can do him, you know. I think if he can put him in a bad spot where, because we've seen Sandy and have a little bit of success in positions where there was potential subs on. And I think if, if Aljo can get that back, he, he's so strong and so and so big and so good at what he does there. I think, you know, especially with the layoff TJ's had. I mean, he's had that the layoff of the ban. He has one fight that he's had to have another year out with a knee injury. I think Aljo does it. Submission. I think TJ Dillashaw has been around a lot longer and he knows he knows a lot more secrets than he does. That's tough. Um, but I'm going to go with Aljo, man. Um, yeah, definitely. Ooh, that's another tough one. I don't know, but I would want Adrian Sterling to do it. I have trained with him before in the um, UK. Uh, very nice guy, you know. So on that note, I'm going to be backing him, obviously. Um, but that is a pretty serious fight. So, yeah, I'll be interested to see who gets the win on that one. I got to go I gotta go with, uh, with the channel on that one. Um, he did a phenomenal job at, at beating um, Peter Jan, which is up. Uh, a lot of people were surprised at that. And his takedowns, his back control was phenomenal. I think TJ is a very, very similar style to to Peter Jan. So that might he might be that kryptonite, crypt, cryptoconic style, uh, that beat that kind of style. So I, I, I'm going to champ on that one.